Hey, how's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can use your social media accounts, specifically Pinterest, TikTok, and Instagram to promote your affiliate link in for free as a broke beginner. And I'll also be sharing strategies that I've learned and personally employed so that if you're a newbie affiliate marketer who's wanting to increase the money that you make every month, then listen close because I'll reveal how I got started and how I set everything up for myself. This is Next Level Finance, the space where we teach you the best, the easiest, and the most legit ways that you can make money online. And this is what we talk about day in and day out on this channel. So if you're eager to learn ways to increase your monthly income if you want to learn how to earn passively or if you have those financial goals that you want to reach then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that we can make sure to let you know each and every time we post a new video and with all of that said let's go make some money the very first thing that I would need you to do would be to pick a niche that you're interested in. This can be anything that you have some knowledge about or even something that you're interested in and want to learn more about. You don't have to be a guru or an expert or anything like that. As long as you have basic knowledge and you're willing to learn and grow, you can definitely start there. Most influencers actually do. If you have no clue where you can start, well, let me get you a few ideas. Some of the most profitable niches in affiliate marketing that you might want to consider are lifestyle and wellness, technology, and finance. So if there's anything there that you have an affinity to, then you can go ahead and pick that. Once you have that settled, the next thing that you'll need to do would be to create accounts in the three platforms that we'll be using to promote your affiliate links in. Again, Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok. So I suggest that you pick a username that has to do with the niche that you select. It can also be any memorable name really. And also use Canva to create a simple but niche related profile picture to go along with it. The third thing that you would need to work on would be a link tree. It's essentially a tool that allows you to share multiple links on social media so that you're not limited to just one affiliate link and instead you can have several of them available at any given time. Link trees are completely free and all you need to do is go to linktree.com to create an account. It's just the usual super straightforward process, so I won't walk you through it anymore. But after you've signed up and get your link tree link, I want you to paste it on your Pinterest and Instagram bio. You also need at least a thousand subscribers on TikTok to be able to post it on your bio, so we can just work on that later. Now, don't worry about your link tree being empty. If you're starting off in the finance niche, then you can put an affiliate link to something like Webull.com because it is related, it's legit, and it's a trusted platform. And people who are interested in your content will probably be interested in investing as well. I have a link in the description box below that you can sign up with. It will give you access to free stocks and you'll be able to get your own unique link as well so that you can get started right away. Now, in order for you to start looking for companies to promote or sign up as an affiliate for, you can try any of the top affiliate marketplaces around. There are a ton of them, again, depending on your niche. Some focus on software, courses, and other digital products, while others focus on physical products. So there's Share Sale, CJ Affiliates, Amazon Affiliates, Rakuten, JVZoo, Digistore24, Partners Deck, and so many more. For today, I only wanted us to focus on impact.com. It's another great option that you can sign up in to access thousands of programs that you can select from. To do that, you can just sign up as a partner, fill out your name, last name, email address, username, password, and then you click on the box that says, I'm not a robot. After that, you can sign in to create your public profile. And what's cool about it is you can use the logo that you made on Canva as your company logo as well. And you can also use your Linktree link as your website. And you don't have to worry about answering each and every question, but I recommend that you do this as soon as you can because it takes a few days for your account to be validated and accepted by the Impact team. 
Meanwhile, you can browse their marketplace just so you get a feel of what's available in your niche. I recommend that you not only consider the commission rate that a particular partner has to offer, but also do a little bit of research about the company. You want to make sure that the brands or companies that you partner with are legit, they're reliable, they have good track records, and as you browse, you can actually save your favorite partners or partners that you like by clicking on this heart on the top right hand corner over here. Doing this will make it so much easier for you to get back to your shortlist once your account has been approved. Another cool thing about Impact is that it makes deposits directly to your bank account and you can take care of that as well by simply clicking on this downward arrow which you'll find over here on the upper right hand corner of the page. So do make sure that you fill your bank details out correctly so you don't encounter any problems when the time comes. Now, in order for you to make some real money doing this, you'll of course need people to see your link tree and be able to access it. Which leads us to the part that I promised to show you, which is how to use the three platforms, Pinterest, TikTok, and Instagram. So let's start off with Pinterest. You'll want to make sure that you have a business account, which you can easily do by heading over to account settings and clicking on link business account and then create account. To grow your Pinterest account fast, I recommend starting with an idea pin, which will allow you to post any kind of video. Don't worry if you don't have any videos of your own to post, you can post any viral video in your niche over here and then just simply credit the content owner in the description. So let's say you're in the tech niche, you can go ahead and type tech in as a keyword on the TikTok search bar and you should see all of the trending videos in that particular niche. From there, you can select your favorite ones and just download them on any free online downloader that's available. I use either tickmate.online or snaptick.app to get the files I want without a watermark. So with that video on hand, you can go ahead and click on create Go to idea pin and upload that video on Pinterest. I want you to choose a catchy title and try to use important keywords without making it all too long. I would say four to six words should work. After that, create a board as a way to categorize your videos and make them easier to find. Definitely make use of the tags to ensure that the video is searchable and can be found by as many people as possible. Also make sure, like I said earlier, that you properly credit the video owner in the comments section. Another kind of content that you can post on Pinterest is, well, pins. And its main difference from an idea pin is that you're able to use affiliate links here. But idea pins just get more views in general, so that when you post pins and idea pins at the same time, you're able to maximize Pinterest as a platform and balance it out. I recommend posting often. One pin and one idea pin per day or every other day should be enough. Pins can be in picture or video format and you want to make sure that the photos that you post are eye-catching and that you use niche-specific keywords. To make them look pro, I would again suggest that you open up your free Canva account and create a photo over there. It will literally take you a minute to do and taking that minute to do it will ensure that your board looks super seamless. One tip that I have is to use fonts and colors that are easy to read. People will be browsing Pinterest and you want them to be able to read your headline or keywords as they scroll and doing this is key. Make full use of the description box and choose a clear but simple title that will get the main message across. You can also add your affiliate link as the destination website and that's really it. You should be good to go. And no, I did not forget Instagram or TikTok. The content that you make on Pinterest can actually be replicated on both those platforms too. So all you would really need to do would be work on one idea pin or video a day, one pin or photo a day, and post those in the three platforms each time you do. Just be consistent about it and watch your social media following grow. And you know what that means, right? The bigger your audience, the higher the chance for you to make some real money on these platforms just doing these super simple tasks. 
The strategy that I just shared with you is how I got started myself. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme by any means. It does take a bit of time and effort. And let me repeat that consistency is key. Let us know in the comments section below which niche you plan to try out. I'm honestly so excited for you to get started and grow your own circles of influence too. If you found any value in today's video, then please go ahead and give this video a like, a share, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're at it so we can keep you updated on all of the new content that will be coming up for you in the days to come. Stay safe guys, and I'll see you again on the next one.